In case you have been living under a warm rock, today is the coldest day in <laughs> Illinois history. Thankfully, we have nutrition expert and friend of the show, Maggie Mahalchek, here with some treats to keep us all warm. Good morning. Good Thank morning. you so much for coming down in what is awful conditions outside. Yeah, mm -hmm. thanks for having me. Yeah, so everyone's going to be in their home. A lot of people have work off. A lot of the kids have school off for the next couple of days. But you got some healthy treats that hopefully we got most of this in our cover. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So warm beverages are the name of the game today. And this is Go really ahead, fun if you're home with the kids today to do a little hot perfect. cocoa oh, bar yes. with different toppings. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you have mini marshmallows in your pantry. We've got chocolate chips. Coconut flakes are really fun. That's a good idea. I see you've done this before. You know what you're doing. <laughs> huh? I, I like a little this, hot chocolate. <laughs> this is powdered peanut butter for a little peanut Get butter hot chocolate. Here. You can stir it in, mix it in really well. There and we get go. that taste. I got a little mint. We can do some mint so hot chocolate. chocolate peanut, like a Reese's cup in yes, hot chocolate. Exactly, Maybe? exactly. <laughs> Keep stirring that up. And then some spices. If you like it spicy, you got a little oh. cayenne pepper too for like a Mexican hot chocolate. Can you put chocolate. mint in hot chocolate? Yeah. Can you do that? Yeah, totally. A little mint. garnish. I guess we just did it. How fun is that? It's yes. happening and right the, here. Yeah, and a little bit of sweetness. <laughs> Boom. Whoa. Look at Whoa. him. He is ready. <laughs> Come on. Why you, you got, got so much experience with that with cream, Lawrence? Well, that's another Let's story for another day. Okay, yeah. so after we got our hot chocolate bar, come on down Yeah, here. so a hot breakfast is super important too. And these are savory pumpkin ginger oats and hearty oat breakfast cookies that I've partnered with Quaker to create. Nice. So I'm sure you've probably had sweet oatmeal for breakfast, but savory oatmeal is a great way to get in some vegetables too. And this bowl has pumpkin and spinach, which is kind of fun. You can do like an egg on top like that. And oh, wow. yeah, and fiber too. Fiber is a very See? important yep. nutrient. Yep. We were yes. talking about fiber this morning. Yeah, Absolutely. You didn't have to point at me when you said that. I was talking very much about fiber this morning. For yeah. me. You didn't have to point in this direction, okay? No I'm, one else. I'm working some things out here. Well, it's experts, a work yeah. progress. And experts recommend 25 to 30 grams of fiber per day. And this bowl has about nine. So it's a really good start to our day. Okay. And these cookies too are a great example of Using one oats, absolutely. To. All right, so wait, these are the oh, savory yes. cookies, right? Yes, so they've got pumpkin and pumpkin seeds in them, a hearty oat breakfast cookie. A delicious reason to fire up your oven if you needed another reason today. See, the thing <laughs> is, is that I, I want that. Oh, oh, yes. Well, we're, okay. yeah. Uh, well, so, let's keep moving. Yeah, yeah All right, so we've I got want our that right there. Blueberry muffins, and with these extreme temperatures and it being cold and flu season, vitamin C is important also. So blueberries are a good source of vitamin C. One cup, which is a handful and a oh serving, has... How's it taste? Yeah. So good. Does it taste healthy or like real good? I mean, a little healthy bit of good both. Healthy good or real good? It tastes, it tastes healthy good. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean. <laughs> you gotta bake up a batch for this cold and stay warm. Okay, he's Anybody going towards the oh sweet. Goodness, yeah. I'm really actually good. leaning towards this. Yeah. Is this a spin on chicken noodle soup? It is. So instead of regular noodles, I added zucchini noodles here. Love it. This is super simple to throw into your crock pot yes. today. So dust off those crock pots, get them out because they are definitely great for this weather. I haven't used mine not one time. What? Yeah. Okay, you got to do this. It's so simple. Throw in stuff you already have at home and then the zucchini noodles are a nice addition of nutrition. A little twist there. Super simple to make and this will be ready if you did check out today to warm you up when you get home. Okay, all right. Do we have to have a spiralizer for this or? Yeah, okay. uh, a really Different simple handheld one. Yeah, okay. would work. All right, mm -hmm. well, we got all the tips. Are you going to give this a thumbs up? Oh, are you kidding me? All, all of it gets a thumbs up. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Keep up with Maggie and all her tips on Instagram. It's called Once Upon a Pumpkin.